Welcome to Home with Simone. My name is Simone and a huge thank you to each and every single one of you that continuously supports my channel. I really do appreciate you all, whether new or existing subscribers. Today, we're going to be making pancakes and considering the season, I thought it would be very festive of me to make my coconut pancakes. This is one of my son's favorites. It's a really easy recipe. All you need is your pancake mix. And I just use the easy one, just add water, the complete. Um, you can also get like the original where you have to add milk and egg, but this is just easier for me. So I get the complete, just add water, and then your coconut, super easy. Um, if I had to actually give you guys a recipe with measurements, I don't know how I would do it. To be honest, I measure nothing. I just go with how it looks, how it feels, and how it smells. My apologies. But anyways, you can follow the um, guide on the pancake box for mixing your pancakes. So I normally use these little scoops that I got this from, I think, Party City or something like that. They were a couple of dollars. So I'm going to put four of those little scoops in there. And then I'm going to add my water. I don't really think the temperature of the water even matters, to be honest. Sometimes I use warm, cold. It's never really affected my ability to mix my pancakes. These little gizmos, my spatula, and I use this to put the butter on the frying pan. I got that from Dollarama. I actually have a video of me doing that Dollarama haul, and I am loving them. It came in a pack. I think it was four of like the smaller baking utensils but I don't really remember I have to go back to that video and see I know they still have them because I saw them in the dollar store the other day and I thought to myself oh I probably should get another set because you know the worst thing is when you really like something and then you don't get enough of that one thing I'm going to bring you guys closer so you can see so you can see the consistency I don't know why it's turning like that okay just wanted to bring you guys a bit closer but no I was saying the one thing I can't stand is when I find something I really really like and you know use it and then I need another one and I can't find it so I was debating on if I wanted to get more I don't like the consistency right now. Some people will make it like this. I want mine to have a little bit more water only because I'm going to be adding the coconut. And if I add the coconut to it with a thicker consistency, it comes out more like a cake and it's very heavy. But you know, it just depends on what you like personally. This is the texture, the consistency that I like. It's not too thick and it's not too um, runny either. You can add your coconut based on how much you want. You can't overdo it, trust me. The more the better. So I'm adding, I would probably say close to maybe like a half a cup if I had to estimate, but don't quote me on that. And see what I mean when I say it thickens? It does thicken the batter. So it went from that almost runny but not so runny texture to a bit of a thicker texture. So imagine if I didn't do that. If I didn't add the water. Okay, and I like how that is. I am feeling like spicing it up a little bit today. So... I'm going to add a bit of nutmeg and also a bit of cinnamon to it. We're going to add a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon. And when I say a little bit, I really do mean a little bit because these spices are potent and it could either add a lot of enjoyable flavor to a meal or it can destroy it completely if you put too much especially of them together 
So just a couple dashes, I would say. And then I just stir that in. If you have cinnamon sugar, that you can be a little bit more liberal with, but mine is the real cinnamon grinded in its raw form, not uh, with an additive to it. So I'm using the basil butter. This is one of my favorites, and I just take this little tool, I'm gonna rub it in it, just so I only get what I need for that much, and then just kind of put it bottom of the pot. And once my pancake has enough bubbles, I'm going to go ahead and come underneath it. And this does look nice and fluffy. You see how that bounces back up. That's how I know my pancake is done. Come on. And now I just put my toppings on it. And I do like my syrup. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a simple cook with me. All I did was add coconuts to pancakes, but wow, does that ever make a difference? And it is so visually appealing. It is such a wonderful breakfast to serve especially during the holidays because the coconut and the ice and sugar looks like snow and it just makes it feel so festive. You can always add different fruit to it and it pairs wonderfully with your tea, your coffee, your orange juice or just fruit drinks in general. Let me know in the comment section guys, is this something that you would try? And if you do try it, circle back around to my video, leave me a comment letting me know if you enjoyed it. Until then, I'll see you all in my very next video.